live from the local station. News 4 Jax starts now. The contentious meetings are over, and right now community members are casting their votes on potentially changing the names of one of the schools on the Duval County Schools District list. And this is a look at all nine schools on that list. That list includes Jeb Stewart Middle, where there's still time for community members to vote on the issue. The schools are either named after Confederate figures or named after men who have ties to slavery. And News for Jax reporter Joe McLean joins us live from Jeb Stewart Middle. And Joe, this isn't the only school where stakeholders have been weighing in. Right, and they're weighing in using short little ballots like this one. This week actually saw four of those nine schools close out their balloting process. And in the next hour, Jeb Stewart Middle School is going to be finishing off its balloting process. But still to come in April, we've got uh, Rebolt Middle, Rebolt High School, Andrew Jackson High School, and the big one, Robert E. Lee High School's balloting. It's your last chance to weigh in on the issue of renaming certain Duval County school campuses, but only certain stakeholders of each school get to vote in this process. To fill out a ballot, you have to prove you're in one or more of the following groups. Students, faculty and staff, members of the school advisory council, members of the parent teacher associations, people who live in the school's attendance zone, and of course, alumni. And the voting process looks pretty much the same as it did in November stickers and all. This is right outside Jeb Stewart Middle School and you can see here there's instructions about how to fill out your ballot and then these polling places here uh, like you would see at a normal election day. This is where community members come to actually fill out their ballots for or against the school name change. Here's what the ballot looks like. It asks which stakeholder group you're in, then whether or not you think the name of the school should be changed, and finally, what new name the school should adopt. Jeb Stewart Middle School's balloting is coming to a close on Wednesday. Four other schools have already finished theirs, and only Rebolt Middle, Rebolt High School, Jackson High, and Lee High School have yet to open their balloting, which is set to begin April 26th. Once these ballots are collected, the principal of each school takes them to the Supervisor of Elections Office to be counted, and an official record of that count then goes to the school's advisory council, then to the superintendent. So as a reminder, these ballots, well, they don't actually decide on the name change. They're, they're basically, these votes are a data set that the school advisory councils and ultimately the superintendent are going to use when they make their recommendations to the school board. It's those seven members of the school board. They have the final say on any school name change in the district. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station. Joe, we've gotten some questions about people voting multiple times at these polling places. What is the process for that? It actually is possible, but you have to prove that you're in multiple ones of these stakeholder groups. For instance, if you're a parent, but you're, uh, I'm sorry, if you're an alumni of the school, but you're also perhaps a teacher of the school, that person could, is eligible to vote twice. But when you come to the polls, you have to bring proof of each one of those stakeholder groups. You gotta bring a proof of address, a photo ID, a student ID, or even a yearbook photo if you're an alumnus. Uh, anything that will prove that you're in multiple uh, of these stakeholder groups. Back to you. All right, got it, thanks for explaining. And the process goes on. Joe McLean reporting to us live. Thank you, Joe.